Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to safely run the machine when running a program for the first time. To safely operate the machine, I'm going to show you how to slow down our rapid or non-cutting feed rate speeds during a tool change so we can safely learn how to anticipate mistakes or machine crashes. By slowing down our rapid feed rate speeds, this allows you, the operator, the chance to anticipate any potential crashes and stop the machine before mistakes occur. When running a program for the first time, it is important to run the machine in a cautious manner so we can identify potential errors, such as incorrect work or tool offsets, or even programming errors. Once we load a program into the machine for the first time, we never select start and walk away. We always carefully watch the machine and slow down our rapid feed rate speeds to ensure the machine is performing as expected. So I have a new program loaded into the machine's memory and I'm ready to start machining. So please try to follow along as I show you how to adjust your rapid non-cutting feed rate speeds when running a program for the first time. All right, so I have my workpiece secured and elevated in my vise. I have my program loaded into memory and I'm ready to go. And notice, to make this part, we're first going to run a facing operation followed by a 2D adaptive operation. So this will account for two tool changes. And remember, for every tool change, we're going to stop the machine we're going to manually adjust and slow down our rapid non-cutting speeds and carefully watch the machine, making sure it's operating correctly and not going to crash into anything. By slowing down the machine, this increases our reaction time and allows us to stop the machine before any mistakes or crashes can occur. All right, so I'm going to place both thumbs on my start and stop buttons, and I'm going to go ahead and select start to run my program. I'm going to immediately stop the machine. I'm going to select 25% rapid to slow the machine down. By slowing the machine down, this will increase our reaction time and allow us to stop the machine if something doesn't look right. If we're running coolant, in this case we're not, if we're running coolant, we turn our coolant off. Okay, I'm going to get my thumbs back on that start and stop button. I'm going to go ahead and press start. As my tool approaches the workpiece, I'm going to stop it again I'm going to slow the machine down even more to 5% rapid, okay? I'm going to check my Z height, and according to my Z height, my control panel here, my tool should be one inch above my workpiece. I'm going to physically verify this and check to make sure we're good. And in this case, everything looks good. Once again, if something doesn't look right, immediately stop the machine. In this case, everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and place my thumbs back on the start and stop buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and press start. I'm gonna stop the machine right before the tool makes contact with my workpiece. I'm gonna to switch to 100% rapid and I'm gonna turn my coolant back on if I'm running coolant, assuming everything looks good and it does in this case. Once I've verified that everything is running properly, I'm gonna get my thumbs back on that start and stop button and I'm gonna go ahead and press start. I'm carefully watching to make sure everything is running as planned. All right, we're gonna repeat the same procedure for our next operation or tool change. Once again, I'm gonna select stop to stop my program. I'm gonna select 25% rapid to slow the machine down. If I'm running coolant, I wanna turn the coolant off. Okay. I'm gonna put my thumbs back on the start and stop buttons. I'm watching to make sure everything is operating properly. And I'm gonna go ahead and press the start button. As my tool approaches the workpiece, I'm gonna stop it again. I'm gonna select 5% rapid this time, and I'm gonna check my Z height again. In this case, it says my tool should be 0.6 inches above my workpiece. I'm gonna physically verify this and check. And in this case, everything looks good. But remember, 
If something does not look right, immediately stop the machine. We're running the machine now at a 5% rapid, so we decrease the speed, all right? So we can stop the machine in case something bad happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my thumbs back on the start and stop button. I'm gonna go ahead and press the start button. I'm gonna immediately stop the machine right before our tool makes contact with the workpiece. I'm gonna turn my coolant back on. I'm gonna switch back to 100% rapid, okay? Once I've verified that everything looks right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my thumbs back on that start and stop button, and I'm gonna go ahead and press cycle start. Once again, I'm watching to make sure everything is running as planned. I'm ready to stop the machine in case something doesn't look right. Learning how to adjust your rapid speeds to run the machine in a safe manner can be a bit overwhelming at first, but it's something that must be done in order to avoid crashes and help protect you, the operator. However, with more experience, the process we just covered in this video will eventually become more straightforward and effortless. In fact, with enough practice, it's easy to become overconfident, so please don't let your confidence get the best of you and always run the machine with careful attention. As Benjamin Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And this quote definitely applies when learning how to safely operate the machine. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.